Okay, <clears throat> Paul here, troubleshooting a GE fan. This is a General Electric. Um, I'm not sure if I can read the model number on there. <clears throat> Get my eyes. <clears throat> it's a GE, and you can see it there, 78 by 191, X191. And the model number is X. 568687 56867 I can't get my camera to focus on that but anyway that's the model number and the customer's complaint was that the fan makes a noise and when I spin it it does make a noise Aside from hitting the light there. So I was trying to find out if it was something in the gearbox. And obviously it needs to be re-greased. That's quite a mess in there. But it seems fine now. So I'm about to plug it in and see if we can figure out where that noise is coming from. I pulled this... <clears throat> cover off and unscrewed the tension knob that engages the oscillation and um, we're going to turn it on on the very act very slowly and see if we can find out where that noise is coming from so I have my very act set up here I'm not going to use the bulb for current limiting because I've already run the fan um, got it on high, and I'll crank it up so it starts running there. Okay, we're at 93 volts, and it just starts running on high. I'm going to crank it up and see if we get that noise. Okay, what I did notice, aha, there it is. So let me slow it down. It's obviously the armature rocking back and forth as you can see it there moving in and out and so when it moves in and out it's it's hitting in the back here you get a bit of screwdriver that don't have gunk on it if I hold it out Yeah, don't hear no noise. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Here we got the noise back. See if we can cut that down. Yep. Okay, so we know what the noise is. It's in the armature here, going back and forth, probably that rear bear in there. I was thinking it might have been a, a gear in the mechanism, but it's not. So I'm going to take disassemble this a little more and we'll check it out again. I'm continuing working on this GE fan. I took the front oil uh, oiler off and this thing was full of grease. And you can see some of my Q-tip there where I've been digging it out. That's not supposed to have grease. It's supposed to have oil. I've got the wick. Uh, cleaning it off here it was totally dry at the top end which is um, was supposed to suck up the oil and um, put it on the bearing that's the way it works the uh, can sits underneath and the spring sits in there and the wick is in the oil and the oil wicks up through the wick and oils the bearing in the front and then there's one in the back there. 
It also, by the way, is full of grease. I haven't cleaned it. I just took it apart and looked at it. It's a little hard to get to, but I'll clean it out. So I'm going to clean out this wick and see if it's salvageable. If not, we'll need to get another wick. But uh, it seems pretty good. It's pliable. It's soft. I think if I can get it cleaned out and dried out, then I can use some good oil and get the bearings oiled. The question is, what has happened to the <clears throat> to the bearings as a result of not getting any oil? Could be what's causing, I'm pretty sure it is, causing the shaft to go in and out. But we'll have to deal with that in another way. Um, what's happening is the shaft comes in and out as the motor's running, and it hits the back of the case in here. And that's the noise that's hitting the back of that case. So what I'm going to do is, um, obviously, the, the fan needs to be cleaned. If you can see inside there, you'll see there's uh, like a, a good amount. Well, you probably can't see in there, but a good amount of dust and dirt in there that just got sucked through the fan. And, of course, that didn't help. Uh, the blades have got some dirt on them and again indication that the fan has been sucking dust but you know it's an antique fan it's gonna actually this one is in really good shape for its age um the gearbox i have disassembled and uh, looked at and it just needs new grease this grease has turned to glue it's probably 40, 50, 60, maybe 70 years old. Oh, hold on. Well, let's screw it from here. Okay. And there's the grease. I cleaned the lid out already, but I'm going to clean it a little better. Um, you see the dried grease at the top of that piston there. And likewise in here. Um... You see this grease here, where my finger is, how dry that is. It's just like dried up. And it's just not doing its job. There is some grease on the armature here, uh, but most of this grease is not even flowing. See, it's just like, it's just hard and gooey and gummy. Um, that's from years of losing its viscosity and becoming dried up. Grease, uh, old grease like that actually becomes glue. And so glue is not a good thing. When you want to grease something, you don't want to stick it. You want it to lubricate it. So all that will be cleaned out and have to have new grease installed. Um, here's the way you see the rotor coming in and out. Okay. And it's hitting the back of the box right there. Mm. And that does that while it's running, which I'll turn it on and show you. I turn the voltage back up. It's already on. It just needs some voltage. I will give it enough to get it going. Notice how slowly it picks up speed, even right now I'm not changing the voltage. Okay, now I'm going to put it at about 100, I have 100 and, well, 110 volts there. Hear how slow it picks up speed? That's the glue, the goo and uh, affecting the bearing. Now, notice with the armature fully extended, you can see that space there between the tip of the black housing and the armature. There's no noise. And this is not banging the back. If I turn it so that it's going uphill, which I'll have to move my light. There, now the fan is facing uphill. You see the armature is going back and forth. And you see it hitting the back of the box there. Downhill. The weight of the armature pulls it forward, uphill, as it goes uphill. 
believe the armature is being pulled backwards and you see it vibrating in and out there and that is the problem so what we first thing we want to do is clean out all this grease we clean out these oilers the front and the back one here and so that they're putting oil in this bearing and because the grease is not going in the bearing nothing's going in the bearing fortunately the armature is in pretty good shape i do see somewhere if you notice well, let me grab a screwdriver here there's a pointer it's kind of hard to do I apologize for my hand but as you notice here there's like a ring Let's scrape some of that away it's very minor drop off from diameter from here to here where the diameter is a little bit lower and that's from the wear and tear in our am armature on that dry baron the baron is not making noise and that is a very good thing so I can put a drop of oil in the bearing there, and the same in the front bearing, <clears throat> and get them primed so that they have oil, and then the wicking action of the oil well should take care of keeping them lubricated. But we got to keep this armature from moving back and forth. So I'm going to have to disassemble the motor to find out where and how and if that can be done. It might be just cleaning it out so that the, it doesn't slide as much. Anyway, um, that's where we're at. I uh, just wanted to let create this video so the owner can see what we got going on and um, go from there. Thank you. Okay, I uh, took the bolts out of the front of the fan here. <clears throat> and I wanted to uh, look inside um, before I do that. This is the rear uh, oiler, which you can see it's really dried up. I haven't done nothing to it. I just unscrewed it and um, looked at it. It has, uh, has a lot of grease, as you can see there. That's supposed to be oil. Caps full of gunk and grease that all has to be cleaned out just like I cleaned out that one there and I will check the wick make sure they're good and oil them so that's that that's part of the problem because there was no oil as you can see the tip of that is dry as can be no oil going to the barons okay <clears throat> so anyway um I pulled the the front cover forward just to look at it, you can see there's some debris. Uh, turn it so my light's on it there. There's some dust and debris in there. If you look in the back, you can really see that there's dust and debris in there. It should be cleaned. Um, it would run better if it was cleaned out. But what I was looking at, more so, let me move this here, right there, and we'll move the light source a little closer. What I was more concerned with is the uh, shaft itself where it goes to the bearing there. And you can see I pulled this all the way, the cap all the way forward. Um, let me see if I can get some more light in there. Yeah. And um, that's the front bearing in there. You probably can't see it with my light there, but that's it's snug but it's not the best um the baron's okay i think i think it just it desperately needs oil and some cleaning and i'm sure that the back bearing in here in the case is the same um i would suggest cleaning it and taking it apart and cleaning it to the customer because it would extend the life of the fan and um, to do that, of course, I have to undo the wire to get the cover completely out and the armature out and clean it all out and put it back together. 
re-grease the box, a must, and uh, you see all the junk in there. And I'm not how much you call uh, the stator. Anyway, um, re-grease the box, clean out the uh, grease out of the bearings in there and get those oilers working so that they're oil in the bearing and hopefully um, get the shaft where it's not vibrating. Uh, extend the life of those bearings because they would be hard to find. I might be able to find them, but if we don't have to change them, that's better. Um, I noticed the cord is pretty frayed where it goes in here. It's kind of dry routed. It'd be good to change this cord before you have an electrical problem. So that's something else we could do. Somebody has changed the plug and put a newer plug on there, but I would change this cord and put a cloth cord on it. And uh, you can see how dry routed that cord is. It's just not worth keeping on there you're looking for a risk of hurting something so um but basically clean out the fan and do this other these other tasks so i just wanted to make this demo so uh, the customer could see what the options are follow that up with a phone call and figure out where we're going to go with restoring this or, or um, rather repairing this um and I will add to this video uh, if we go any further into the unit so you can see the process. Thank you.